everybody. Welcome back to My Wings of Refuge. I'm excited today, y'all. It has been a crazy week, a hard week. And uh, But just remember, when you feel those hard weeks sometimes, just remember that the Lord is with you. And He said in His Word, He will never leave you nor forsake you. So please don't feel alone. Whatever you're battling, whatever you're going through, He is with you and He's holding you by your right hand. Y'all, I'm excited today because... I'm going to can some cantaloupe jam. This is actually one of our family favorites. Um, and sometimes when you're growing a lot of cantaloupes, it's like, what can you do with the excess? You can freeze it, you can use it in smoothies and things later, but you can also can it. And my favorite way of doing that is in this cantaloupe jam. And so I love this stuff. Now in this recipe, we're going to be adding a little bit of vanilla. Uh, real vanilla at the end and you don't have to add the vanilla but let me tell you the vanilla does something to this cantaloupe jam that just makes it taste like yummy warm goodness almost like candy I mean it is so good I love cantaloupe so I'm not sure how this would be for someone who doesn't like cantaloupe at all but it is very different. So I encourage you to at least try it. If you don't love cantaloupe, but you're growing cantaloupe for family or friends, just know you can can it into jam. It would make a lovely Christmas gift. Let's get started. For this recipe, I'm going to start with two cantaloupes. Um, you can start with as many as you like. Uh, just make sure you have enough to fit in your canner. Um, I like to start with two. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut them in half. We're going to scoop out the seeds and the you know, slimy stuff. And save that for your chickens. They will love it. And there are some deworming qualities about the seeds in your cantaloupes. So save those for your chickens. Or put them in the compost. Either one if you don't have chickens. Or ducks that works too so we're going to cut these in half clean out the guts out of the middle put them aside and then we're going to dice up the meat inside of our cantaloupes I love to use the little jelly jars and I have figured out for my family how many jelly jars it takes to feed my family for a year and that tells me how many jars to prepare and to can for the season. So I have loaded my canner with the jelly jars and they are boiling and I have my pot here ready to uh, start cooking our jam and I have another part ready here that has our flats in it and we're just going to turn that on uh, medium-ish. Um, we want them to be nice and warm. They don't need to boil, but I do like to do them warm. Um, some people say you don't have to do that anymore. I still do. I just do. Okay, so we have our beautiful cantaloupe all diced up. Now the key here is weigh your cantaloupe after you've cut it. So you know how many pounds that you're going to be cooking with. I have five pounds here of cantaloupe. I'm going to dump it into my pan. Okay, so to determine the sugar amount, you want half the amount in pounds that you have of your cantaloupe. I have five pounds of cantaloupe. I want two and a half pounds of sugar. That is actually considered low sugar. Um, you can actually go a little lower. Uh, you're just going to be cooking it a lot longer. Your cantaloupes can be rather sweet. Um, cantaloupes are all different. It just depends. But you can use less sugar. Just know you might have to cook it a little longer to get it to gel. But the rule of thumb, half the weight in sugar. We're going to add our two and a half pounds of sugar. We'll turn on our heat to high. See, without adding any liquid at all, it makes beautiful juice. Just keep heating it, bring it to a boil, and as soon as it comes to a boil, you can back it off to about a medium high and then just let it cook until those cantaloupe chunks are nice and soft. 
and then we'll move to the next step. Once you get to boiling really, really good, don't worry about that foam. We're just gonna cut that heat back down to about medium, and we're just gonna wait for those chunks to get nice and soft so we can break out our immersion blender. Once it's all nice and soft, we're gonna turn our heat down again to about a medium low, and we're gonna get out our immersion blender, and we're just going to blend this away. Raise the heat back up again to about a medium high, and we want this to thicken. As you feel it starting to thicken, then we can add our lemon juice. Now for about 10 pounds of our fruit, we would add one whole lemon juiced. But I'm actually gonna use bottled lemon juice today. And since I only have about five pounds of fruit, I'm going to use a tablespoon and a half. I'm ready to add my lemon juice. I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half. You can also use a thermometer like this and you can actually just wait until you reach 221 degree and then you'll be ready to put that in your jars. We want two teaspoons. You can add more or less. It's up to you. Okay, as soon as you know that they're coming to a rumbling boil, which these already are, we're going to set our timer for just 10 minutes. And we wait. And there's our timer. We're gonna turn our timer off, and we're gonna turn the heat off. But we're just gonna let this sit for about five minutes before we remove the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and lift these up. Sit them out. Ta -da! Now we simply wait till all those jars cool. We check the uh, flats to make sure they have sealed properly. We will remove the rings and they'll be ready for the labels and the cabinet. So that's exciting. I love this jam. You have to try it. You simply have to try it, if you, especially if you like cantaloupe. Now, if you don't like cantaloupe, you might want to try it. You can at least give it away for Christmas gifts because people will love it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you will branch out and try some cantaloupe jam. Don't forget the vanilla. It is spectacular. It does something special to this jam. I hope you have an amazing week. Stay safe out there, y'all. I love you. The Lord loves you. And I'll see you next time.